Hey everybody, it's Maya and today we are doing a fun, different kind of video. So in this video we are going to be using some of the products that I used when I first started wearing makeup. I don't really remember the exact year but all I know is I was a freshman in college and it was like the second half of the semester and I only wore mascara and I didn't really own any kind of makeup. I just wore mascara just because but um one of the first brands that i started diving into was glossier so i have a few of the products it's not going to be a full face of glossier because i did not own a full face when i first started wearing makeup but i thought it'd be fun to do this kind of video because i didn't have a foundation i did not have contour i didn't have i mean i had a highlight but i used a different thing as my highlight but it You'll see, but I thought it would be fun to throw it back and just try using some of the products that I first started using. There's also a few things in here that I'm using that aren't like things that I used before, but those things like ran out, so I'm replacing it with something else. I'm just going to use a primer, but before I either didn't use primer at all or I just used my moisturizer. This is the Rare Beauty Poreless Primer, by the way. Not that it matters, but in case you're wondering. Yeah, and I did my nails too. Just did like a nice summery kind of color. Yeah. <laughs> so next, I'm going to be going in with some eyeshadow primer. When I first started wearing makeup, I did not wear an eyeshadow primer i just used a concealer with some powder on top and that always made my eyeshadow crease so i will not be making that mistake either instead i'm going to use my rare beauty eyeshadow primer but this is giving the same effect as a concealer would because it does have some pigment to it a lot of videos that i have on youtube that i have privated because the makeup is so bad like there's a freaking video where my foundation is literally yellow like it's yellow um there's another one where i just my eyeshadow just sucks like not that it is any better now but it was just really bad before <laughs> so next i'm gonna spray my face this was something that i did before i do not own the product that i used before i it was like a matte setting spray i use that as a face primer no wonder my skin was always dry but right now i have the pixie rose glow mist um, I did use this pretty early on as well, but it wasn't like one of the first products that I used. We're just starting off on a bad note, aren't we? <laughs> I promise all the other products are ones that I used back when I first started. So, my face is still soaked, I know. I just want it to stay moisturized. But one of the first products that I actually bought, and it, you can tell I still own it, is my Glossier Stretch Concealer. It's literally almost gone. It's in the shade G10. It's one shade too dark for me, but I'm still going to use it today. Um, I used to just use my finger and blend it out with my fingers, but I can't put my fingers in there. My nails are like too long to get in there, so I'm just going to use a brush. And I'm just going to apply this how I used to, just under my eyes. I literally brought this wherever I was red, so pretty much everywhere for the most part. I don't know how sanitary this product is just because it is so old. Like, it's literally one of the very first products that I owned. And you can see it goes a long way. I'm still carrying it up my forehead. I will repurchase this. I do love this concealer a lot. It has a nice coverage to it. It's very dewy. It looks really natural on the skin. And I just love it. I love the way it makes my skin look. And then I would bring it over any sort of like acne scars or... I'm honestly just going to bring this around my whole face as much as I can because that's what I did before. But the only downside is I would never set my face before. I would just do this and I'd walk out the house. So I would get really, really oily. I learned my lesson. 
and then can't forget the mustache area but i'm just gonna do it like that i'm not gonna do too much basically we just put it pretty much everywhere so we're just gonna blend this out with a sponge and it's just undetectable on the skin just how i like because before i'd wear makeup kind of in secret so i would like do like the most minimal thing in hopes of feeling a little bit more confident but like i didn't want anyone to notice that i was wearing it so i would just keep it a secret as much as possible after i would do my concealer then i would just go right into blush and the very first products that i've ever owned like every makeup product is these two cloud paints i actually bought these before anything else and i would put this all over my cheeks my lips and my eyes and I would never, I wouldn't even wear mascara, nothing. I would just add some color to my face. So I'm gonna do that today as well. It's the cloud paints in the shade Puff and Beam. And I'm gonna mix the two together today. I did that quite a lot as well. It just creates a beautiful sort of coral shade. And I would apply that with my fingers. And then I'd go in with a sponge. So I'm gonna do that today as well. Now I use a brush to blend my blushes, but I would use a sponge before, and it's very beautiful. I'm going to really build that up on my cheeks because I'm not going in with bronzer. I did not own a bronzer before, and it was just mostly blush that I would wear on my cheeks. When I first started wearing them, I literally was so scared to like wear blush i would put the most least minimal on i'm putting on my eyes too but i'll put the the minimalist amount of it on because i didn't want it to be detectable on my skin but i love the way that looks it's just so natural and pretty and sun-kissed and i really do miss that blush i don't know why i stopped using it i have used so many other different blushes lately but isn't that just so pretty like i just look more kissed by the sun <laughs> so next i would set my face and something that i did own was this exact powder it's a siate london extraordinary powder and this is the one that i well i first used the glossier Wouter. don't own that anymore it has run out but this is what I usually use, and I would put it on a sponge, run that wherever I need it to powder. I haven't used this powder in a minute, but it's it's still good. It's not like it's a bad powder. Before, I would just set underneath my eyes. Now I set my whole face because I put that concealer everywhere. So, so then I would go with my eyeshadow, and... I did own this Lid Star by Glossier, but I also owned this gigantic Morphe palette. I barely use this. Um, back when I used to work at McDonald's, one of my friends there, she was selling it because she bought the wrong palette. Pretty sure she was trying to buy the James Charles palette, but she accidentally bought this one because it kind of looks similar. But um, she was trying, like she was selling it, and I'm like, I'll take it. She was selling it for $40. I think it was just a little bit well she wasn't selling it for the full price but i don't know it just looks like this um it's not like it's an ugly palette it is pretty it's just there's no light shades in there there's like no whites there's no light shimmers it's all just kind of like dark so i never really use it now because for me to use that palette it would require require me to use other palettes too to create a lightness to it but these shadows are very very rich pigmented not like that's bad but I was scared of I was scared of pigment when I was younger I'm just gonna do a neutral brown look because I still need to play with this palette like there's a oh my gosh look, there's a lot of the shades that I've never even touched in here so I'm just gonna take this light brown shade with that one and I'm taking it on this concealer brush because this is the brush that I used when I first started wearing makeup hello hello you want a hot dog? yeah 
many? I'll take two. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a deeper brown in there, but I never really venture out with this palette. I just sort of use the browns. Now I'm going to take my Glossier Lit Star and when I first started wearing makeup, I would put this on the eyes with my blush and I would use this as my highlight. This is in the shade Slip. It's a really pretty pinky golden kind of color and I'm just going to take that on a flat brush. I would use my fingers before too, but I'm just going to stick with a brush for today. Sort of just making sure it's all blended and then I'm going back in with the second coat from top just to add some more color back into it. Next, I would use eyeliner. Typically, I had a different eyeliner at the time. I'm not going to be using it because, well, I threw that thing away years ago or I threw it away like when I was decluttering. My makeup. So I'm just gonna be taking. Well, what I would do is I would either do some eyeshadow as my wings, or I did have lots of black liner available. So I'm just gonna be taking my eyeliner that I always use now, just creating a small baby wing with it because I wouldn't do anything crazy. I would just create something really small, which is cute still, but. I like for my wings to show up. Just basic like that. For mascara, I would use my Glossier mascara or the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. I had a bad experience with the Lash Paradise when I first was wearing makeup. It made my eyes tear up like crazy. I could not wear it at all. I could never, like I always cried during class because it would keep making my eyes tear up. Like I was sitting in math class once. I, I don't know what happened. My eyes just started burning and I could not control it. So I started like just trying to hold it in. I was not wiping my eyes because I knew I had mascara on. I wasn't trying to have it run down my face. So instead, I was crying in class. And everyone was like, oh, are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, my mascara is just in my eyes. No big deal. But I will never wear that mascara again. And so I'm just going to use my Undone Beauty Indie Lash Mascara in this shade brown. I love this mascara a lot. It's a new favorite of mine. Brief intermission, I'm going to go get a hot dog. BRB. Hey friends, I got my hot dogs. <laughs> so, ignore this size, it's a little bit messy right now. Okay, those are the lashes. So after I do my mascara, then I would do my halo scope. And I would apply that to my fingers. Oh, this is the Glossier Halo Scope in Moonstone. I'm like acting as if you guys know what it is. You probably do, but if you don't, I'm like acting like you would know, sorry. So I would just dab that in with my fingers and then go over it with a sponge. And I love this highlight. It's a really, really pretty highlight. And I would just kind of go overboard with it because I love a good glowy cheek. I would take that on my nose and down my nose. And then on my eyebrows. Like that. And be, just for the fun of it, I will be taking the Lid Star as a highlighter as well because I did do that at some point. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to take a brush because I don't remember what I used to use to blend that in, but I'm assuming it was a brush. And yeah, it is really pretty though. Like there's no dark cast. But it did create a really pretty glittery highlight. So. Yeah, and it's pink too. So why not? So 
two dots of that and then you just blend it. I remember I was at Baker Square with my dad and I was getting ready and I took my lid star and I put it all over my lid and I put it all over my cheeks and I was like so nervous that he was gonna see the glitter on my cheeks and be like are you wearing makeup like you know how it is I don't know if any of you guys are the same way but when people ask me like are you wearing makeup or did you do something different with your hair or are you wearing a dress like little things like that I would get so 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 insecure and I would just be like no I'm not I'm not doing that like I was so nervous to just venture out and be a girl I'm going to use this isn't really a makeup product but it's the Glossier Balm.com in the shade Rose I would I should have put this on when I first started but I would wear a lip balm and this one is just rose flavored and lightly pink tinted I could leave it like that or I did have a lipstick I want a piece of uh, uh, pizza what kind cheese yeah huh? yeah Okay, so I did have a lipstick before. One of my first lipsticks was this one by CoverGirl. It is this this vibrant pink one. I would rarely use it, but I will just dab a little bit onto the lips. I should probably use that some more because that's actually really pretty. But yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Can I slide it on the door? No, I got it. So I got two hot dogs and a slice of pizza. Okay, <laughs> I could just leave it like that, but I will top it off with my Glossier lip gloss because I was always wearing this too. And this is the finished look. So obviously it didn't look this good when I first started wearing makeup it was not as put together I just created them all into one look and made it into something I'd wear now but yeah this makeup look is actually pretty fire I would wear this it looks like my bronzy summer look that I did um, a few videos ago but these are the cheeks the lips and the eyes but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know this video is all over the place, but I feel really cute. Um, I don't know. I'm just loving my hair, my jewelry, my shirt. I don't like the cut of it. It's really cute. But yeah, uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye.